So guys, welcome to our uh, video with My Showcase and we're actually here with Kate Shapland and we're here to celebrate My Showcase's fourth birthday! Um, we were just saying, I don't know, I think, I think you know like uh, with, uh, they all say with dog years, it's like seven, seven years is yes. one dog year. I think beauty years is something similar, I think oh, it's God, like kind of crazy, it yeah. just flies. So um, we just want to do, we're going to do a few videos actually, and the first one we want to talk about really is for people that don't know your background, Kate, and um, and and really talk about that, and then why you and Nancy started my showcase. So, okay, thank what, you. Tell us about your background. Oh, okay. So um, I I'm trained as a journalist. All right. And when I say trained, I, I mean self-trained, really, yeah. because I started right at the very very bottom, a real insect in the fashion department at Harpers and Queens. As it was even. then. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And. Um, Worked there, worked at Harpers and Queen, it's now Harpers Bazaar, yeah. as you know, um, for I think five years and then moved on and became, moved into the beauty department from fashion mm -hmm. there because I, I always loved beauty, like all young girls, love lipstick, yeah. all that stuff. And um, I, I realised that beauty was much more my area than fashion. I love the people in the business mm. much more and um, it just seemed much more free and much more fun. So um, I crossed over into beauty and actually it was Leslie Kenton, um, the legendary Leslie, who, the wonderful well-being um, writer, who gave me my first opportunity at Harper's because she was the beauty director there then. Oh. And she came over one day, she heard that I wanted to write about beauty. So she came over and she said, um, oh, yeah, I hear, hear, hear you want to do some work about beauty. And like, yeah. she said, well, would you like to go and um, review a health spa for us? And I was like, oh my, yeah, thank you. So I was sent to um, dispatch to Henlow Grange. Um, not bad, no. well, the first job. And I wrote a little review of it and that was it really. That was, it just went on from there. So um, I was lucky. I, I learned, left Harbours and I went freelance mm -hmm. at quite an early stage. Yeah. Um, I don't know, the, the, the courage of youth and leapt into that and realised that in order to pay them pay the rent, I needed to be able to do all sorts of different things. So mm -hmm. not just sort of pigeon my, pigeonhole myself into magazines, yes, but be able to work across the media. Yeah. Um, so I've always had a very strong understanding of that. And it's, it's driven from, I mean, nowhere really, from nowhere other than earning a living and having variety in your life. Yeah. You know, that's where it comes from. So, and I also think that once you get into the industry of beauty, it is very vast, but it's yes. also something that, you know, you can take whichever angle you want, yep. I think, and, and you know, we've moved on a lot, like, you know, obviously print is very much now moved on to digital yep. as well, so I think, you know, it's, uh, and whether you say, like you say, it's, it's the health side, or whether it is more of the makeup and the skincare side, and, you know, one of the things that I love about my career is, you know, I've worked with a lot of brand founders, yeah. which I'm kind of now yes. background doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you're the same, you yes. know. It's, yeah. I think in the, you know in the early '90s when I was kind of starting my main career in London, you know, it's where these brands were coming in, yeah. and it was so exciting. Very exciting, and I think yeah. um, just like you, Nikki, I've always been fascinated yeah. by that. I love the core cool brands. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't? You know, bit of Chanel, Estee Lauder, yeah. all of it, love it. But I have a fascination for those small brands that come to the market, mm. whatever way they manage mm -hmm. it. Um, you know, I don't know whether that's always loving, not, not the underdog, but it's loving something that comes de genuinely from a passion. Yeah, absolutely. We were talking about this earlier, how yeah. you can, a lot of people say to me, you know, how do you, you know, choose the products you create? And it is about an energy. Yeah. And I, I know sometimes that sounds a bit trite, but I know that you know what I'm saying. You can look at a brand yeah. without even touching it, and yeah. you can see that it's going to be a winner, yeah. that you fall in love with it, yeah. for almost indescribable reasons. And I and whether that comes through long time working in the business or just you get it I don't yeah. know but um, no I think and, and I think particularly when you meet those founders you can you know you can feel it absolutely so that leads us quite nicely on to why what you know how did my showcase come about well um gosh uh, Nancy I've known for many a year because uh, we both had sort of similar career paths mm -hmm. in publishing uh, Nancy at Condé Nast myself obviously at Hearst with Harps and Queen and then various others and um, and then at the Telegraph and we really got to know each other there best then because mm -hmm. um, I, I wrote a column for the Telegraph for 14 years so Gosh. up to last November yeah so lovely lovely job um, so we really got to know each other there and Nancy came to me one day she said I've got this idea and she kept coming back saying I've got this idea I've got this idea right okay let's hear your idea and it literally took me mm -hmm. I mean all of five seconds to say I'm absolutely if you want me I'm on board I mm -hmm. love this idea because it's all about the independent brands which of course we love and she knew that because I championed them in the column yes. the Telegraph so it was almost like giving 
the way I saw it was it was almost like giving that page, turning it 3D, Life. making it real. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And um, why why do you think it's been so successful? Because you know I always remember um, you know being a child of the seventies, growing up with Tupperware parties and those kind of things yeah. at home. Yeah. And there's a lot of um, businesses in the beauty world that have tried that mm -hmm. at home piece mm -hmm. that it hasn't always worked. So mm -hmm. so how have you got it so right? Well, I'm glad you think we have. No, I mean, we no. certainly we've um, been on the journey now. Uh, four years mm. um, and there's been lots of things we tried that haven't necessarily worked but a lot of things that have and one of the main things we decided to do very early on was to be able to pitch ourselves as a new generation social selling company so yes very much it's similar to the direct selling model mm -hmm. um, you know we very often we call ourselves almost like a cross between Avon and Space NK yeah. but what we've built into that is a genuine flexibility for women who want to work in beauty in their time. There mm -hmm. is no pressure from mm -hmm. us. Um, so they become a stylist as part of our network, and I think there are now 1,300 of us, 1,300 around the UK, yeah. and they, they buy into it as much as they want. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, you know you can do it in, in your time. You mm -hmm. can, it could be your full-time work, or it could be just something you love doing, and you do you know every other week. Mm -hmm. um, so there's no um, pressure on you to, to, to sort of um, do it, showcase all the time. Um, the other thing is that um, we are very much community. Mm -hmm. We've really embraced that family sense yes. with it. And really, you know, know every single stylist. And that is a truly wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. And oddly enough, when I first uh, started on this journey with Nancy, Rodrigo and Olivier, our other two founders, um, the last thing I thought I'd really love is the meeting of the people. Because I've spent my life in front of a computer not really talking to people yeah. that much. But it has been the best bit for me, and I've made so many friends and learnt so much from ladies who are out in the field. And the wonderful thing about these ladies is that none of them, I don't think, I mean, there might be some of them, have a, genuinely have a beauty background or a sales background. They come to it quite fresh. See, that's interesting because um, within my career, I mean, predominantly is, is in training, but also in sales. You know, one of the things that I've always said is I can totally teach people to be a makeup artist yes. and, and, and about brands and products. For me, it's passion that yeah. you need yeah. and it's the love for people. And, you know, one of the things that I think um, that I get a lot of questions about from the readers and the viewers and, you know, I spend a lot of time working on actually with brands as well is the service piece. Yes. And I think with bricks and mortar at the moment, it's a tough um, mm -hmm. find, sadly. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know... I always say your relationship with your customer should be what you tell your best yeah, friend. Yeah, and yeah, that, you yeah. know, I mean, and that if it's coming into your home, is it mm. even more amazing? It is. Um, and I think the other thing as well that, that you have done so right, and exactly you mentioned in the Space NKY way, is you've brought those niche brands into people's home, but they trust those brands because they trust my showcase. Yes, yes. So That's what we hope. And, and I think that... Um, you know, for us on the independent brand side, it was about there was so much innovation in beauty, mm. as we know. There's so much going on. The business is so much bigger, but we felt that there wasn't quite so much innovation going on in retail. Yes, so absolutely. it was interesting to be able to platform these brands in a different way yeah. and in a more accessible way for them. Yeah. So that's really what we strive to do. And I think, you know, as you were saying earlier, that whole personal experience, that being able to hand something to yes. somebody that they can physically try, rather than having the barrier of a counter or yeah. whatever it might be in front of them. Is just it's it's fantastic. Yeah. Women talk about beauty. Mm. They talk about each other's lipsticks, yeah. and it doesn't matter if both are wearing the same colour yeah. because it looks different on the pair of them. You know, it's not like fashion. No, so. absolutely. And I think you know, I was having a conversation this week with somebody. I think some um, sometimes bricks and mortar retail. When you look at the the stores, whether it's independent stores or department stores, I think sometimes they're using well. You know, there's a very strong online business now, so that's why you know we're not getting the footfall. But as I've said many times, I really believe that shopping for beauty face to face will never stop no. because people want to smell, they Absolutely want right. to touch, yeah. they want to experience in some cases the glamour of walking into that store and leaving with you know one of those gorgeous bags. Mm -hmm. But um, people won't do it if they don't have the service. Mm -hmm. So you know, and that's where Absolutely. the trust piece with my showcase yeah. comes in. You've so. got to have the personal service. That's what, you have. that's what it's all about. You have definitely, yeah. definitely. So um, come back to the next video. We are going to be sharing some of our favourites, some of Kate's picks and um, some of my favourites as well from the My uh, Showcase offering and telling you why we love them.